having issues with my uh, 1996 Nissan Sentra. It's the 1.6 liter and it's not starting. And uh, I'm thinking it's the coolant temperature sensor, which is this little thing right here. I think this thing goes out like every couple of years. I finally got him with a lifetime warranty. It's about a $30 parts replace and he just needs some uh, white tape and a 19 millimeter um, deep socket. It has to be deep so that it could fit in there like that because well it's actually gonna go like that and then this part right here sits in the coolant and gets the temperature and if it's off it just dumps fuel into it way too much fuel and will flood the cylinders of fuel actually let me show you what that sounds like so I don't know if you able to hear it yet but it was cranking over fine and then it got to almost like the battery is dead or worn out and it just keeps getting slower and slower what's happening is it's just putting so much fuel in that cylinder it just it's like hydraulic and So I had a friend stop by, but as you can probably hear, I have it running right now. What you didn't see off camera was me getting it started. What I ended up doing is pulling it, it floods them really bad. I pulled that uh, fuse, it's a 15 amp for the fuel pump, and uh, put my foot all the way in the accelerator, and I turned it over, I turned it over, and then it would finally start, and then I'd let it just uh, take my foot off and then run for a second or two, and then it would die, and then I did that again, and then again, and then I put the fuel pump back in picked up my tools and everything and then it just fired right up the first or second crank so it floods them really bad and I've heard of uh, people even taking and putting uh, blowing taking all the plugs out and blowing the cylinders out with uh, air I didn't have to do that uh, these plugs weren't that bad and I think spraying it off actually helped last time what I actually did when I did this is I pulled all the plugs out of the cylinder and then uh, floored it and cranked it open with the fuel pump out the fuel pump fuse out and you could just smell the fuel coming out of the cylinders and stuff and then what I did is I put the spark plugs I put new spark plugs back in at that time and then uh, was able to start it so that's another way to do it um, something else is it's because it floods it so bad I like to uh, change the oil after this so I'm letting it get uh, warmed up and the battery charged up but I'll probably be uh, moving it over to someplace out of the snow and uh, changing the oil now because of this and putting in a I went away to oil again so this oil is not that bad but I'll probably do it just because of the amount of fuel that was in the cylinders. Alright, that's it. 